bit. Obviously, COVID did happen. Um, what was the the immediate reaction? Um, and then, you know, uh, we've been in lockdown probably for you know the guts of nine months. Yeah. Just talk to me about the, how things have played out. What was the immediate reaction from the permanent side? You know, in other areas, other verticals, we've looked at, at growth in the temp and the contracting side. And then some companies just going, they had to get on a supply chain, things like that. They had to keep going and they've just they've just made whatever adjustments that they've had to over the last kind of nine months to keep the show on the road. Yeah, I mean, things stopped. They, they really did come to a halt in, in April, uh, May time. Um, but, but tech is very resilient. Some parts were horribly affected. I mean, anything related to hospitality, travel, aviation all really suffered people lost their jobs other areas the more disruptive areas did really well med tech ed tech side tech fintech in particular they've done really well out of the pandemic and they really began to scale um as the ones went by if we look at some of the the different fintech and med tech companies out there that were really startups coming into this year i'm probably not expecting to grow as much they've had to hire very, very quickly because of demand. Um, so it's been very, very good for some parts of technology. For, for, for other parts, not many, it's, it's been really awful, like every other industry. The, the one silver lining is it's a highly skilled workforce with really transferable talents uh, and skill sets. So those people with those skill sets, like engineers and security people that are on the market because their industry has been affected, they won't be on the market long. There's a lot of demand built up now for, for these people again. 